Uh, I start with that slide everybody forgot, thanks to our sponsors. So we got that point sorted. I can't forget it anymore. And um, Daniel wanted to put up a slide for me, but yeah, yeah you, you promised. <laughs> you promised to take care of everything. So, uh, but, but, it's, but it would be only one slide with the word questions, question mark on it. So here we are. Question mark. If you don't ask questions, I'm going to ask you questions. <laughs> okay. Is print K going to be real time? <laughs> oh, that, that's a tough one. Is print K going to be real time? Um, so the question is more when it will be time for print K. So this is the this is the real uh, not answered question today. Um, so we have ideas on that, but uh, let's see where where that goes. At least Linus didn't hate it immediately, so there's a decent chance that we can make progress. Yes, there's a buff tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock where we talk about print K. So further questions about print K are forbidden from now on. Question, question mark. So now I'm standing between you and the beer, so if you want me to stop, we can agree on on that, but you have no, to pay the beer. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Uh, so, um, what's missing? What, what's, what still needs to get upstream? From the what's missing? Okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Only that? We are back to that. No, it's actually print K. Good. So, um, and, a, and a few minor, minor thing is which are only make sense when we put the switch in. Um, and then after that, we have the, um, the lazy preemption parts, but I'm not going to push them now before we have actually the thing enabled. Because right now, I don't want to, to have that discussion uh, with anyone. Um, it's going to be interesting uh, to to get that in, but uh, it's not it's not the end of the world if it's not here at the first place. So we have to fix print K. That's the more the more interesting one. Um, once we get the if we can agree on the infrastructure and get the infrastructure in, then uh, it's definitely. Uh, uh, the gates are open for everyone to help on converting the console drivers over. It's going to be quite a feast, but uh, there aren't so many, just a few hundred. But it's not, not dramatic. The larger thing before, so PKL was worse. what we have in is there any optimizations and further things that we can do to make things even better i don't know if there are optimization margins for things that are already there uh, there are quite a couple of things we need to to think about but we need to to think about a lot of these things in general in the kernel one is the whole soft irq problem there's no real good solution to it um but uh, we are now hitting some of the constraints here, especially in terms of um, real-time communications based on TSN, uh, where the uh, automation industry really looks into. Um, and here we really get bitten by soft RQs. So we have to figure out something, what to do about that. And that might be even interest in the interest of, of the networking people because uh, they are debating their own soft RFQ design as well, so it's not it's not particularly uh, an RT problem um, because soft RFQs are yeah it's it's this big pile throw everything into the soft RFQ and then hope that your work gets done on time, but then you have 
uh, 500 unrelated items in here and you have to process them all. So, I mean, the, the, the network people mostly set on XTP zero copy nowadays because they want to get the kernel out of the way completely. Um, that's one solution to the problem. Um, unfortunately, you can't do it with all the network cards and especially the ESN ones. Um, there's a couple of, of issues. Um, um, mostly a permission problem so, uh, on the TX side, on the ORIC side, that's easy, but the TX side is critical. Um, because uh, there's no core, uh, there's one core out there which actually can do that, where we can fully restrict what is launch time uh, a user space uh, uh, message the buffer can actually um, be in, but uh, many of the other cores just accept whatever is there, which means you can escape your, your time slot. Obviously, not a good idea. There's, there's, there's plenty of things to look at. So that's, I think, Software IQs is the most most urgent one to, to actually study things. I wonder if uh, read write logs and read write semaphores uh, can be an another one. Um, so currently we don't, we, they're not fair with respect to readers and writers. And uh, I was actually wondering, so yeah, reading the uh, the code is uh, you mentioned. Well, I don't know. I think it's you uh, that uh, Sky Deadline was one of the blockers for actually implementing priority inheritance also for readers. And I was uh, wondering if you. No, had no. To... I, I mean the the the, the multiple reader yeah. reader inheritance problem is infinite large, and I mean we had this code uh, and ripped it out again because it was more trouble than it's all. Yeah. Uh, so, so you mean there, there there is no real fix for it, or because uh, I mean um, we are basically. I haven't found out the solution how to do multiple reader mm -hmm. inheritance uh, if the writer is is is, yeah. is is stuck. But on the other hand, um, looking at the use cases where reader writer logs matter and they matter, uh, they're not that. Uh, hot path anymore than they used to be. A lot of the reader writer locks and the reader writer semaphores got replaced, in, uh, especially in the hot <coughs> path. Uh, they all went for RCU and, and lockless uh, uh, protections. Yes, well, actually, I'm asking because I had actually added uh, kind of recently a read write, first if you read write semaphore in the scheduler hot path. But, well, it's, not, it's not a hot path, it's the set scheduler because we needed that for scheduling. But I guess, uh, yeah, I guess my question would be, should I go and try to, I don't know, substitute that with a mutex? Or uh, I think that that might be the question. I mean, uh, the solution. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's not, it's not, uh, I mean, if you want to set your scheduling policy, come on, you can't wait. It's not the most urgent thing in the world. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's when your threat starts, and when your application boots up. You shouldn't do that every other second. Yeah, you, should, yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, uh, anyway. and, and especially not in, oh, your, yeah. in your highest priority mm -hmm. threat. I mean, uh, you can do so many stupid things in your high priorities or, or in your deadline threat, uh, which make your... <coughs> You miss the deadline or blow your latency out of the window, so uh, don't do that. Yeah. I mean, we we can't make an OS which is which prevents people from being stupid. That, and, uh, and, and, and I'm glad that he doesn't know. against stupidity do not exist, uh, at least not no legal ones. And I'm glad you don't know why we have that problem. <laughs> it would be worse. Questions? Uh, just a quick note on the same topic. Um, ePoll is currently broken. Pardon? ePoll, event poll. 
Ipo? Yeah. Why? Um, because it's because of the the fairness in it's using the read write lock. Um, it's been reported. It's been discussed. One of the the solution proposed solutions is um, just you use RCU like with the other users, um, but it doesn't fly so easily. So um, it's still one of the open problems. And since you were mentioning yeah, read write locks, it's, yes. I, I don't know if there are any um, uh, more serious users, but EPOL is but being broken. Be, having EPOL broken is not nice. No, I mean it's not broken. It's uh, not less deterministic than. No, there's no there, there's no good solution for it. But um, I mean, there's there's basically two options you have. Either you accept the right as derivation, or you go for a single reader. We had that, didn't scale well, uh, caused that a problem. So, yes, I mean, we, we have to look at the equal case. Um, I don't know. Yes. I mean, most of the other reader write a lock problems or pretty much. Uh, there's not, not much happening on that side that people report issues. So I saw the EPOL thing fly by. Um, yes, yeah, so the, 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 the non RT fairness based read the write locks are really nicely solving the problem here. Um, but it's not entirely clear what we can do on, on, on the RT side. Um, what we could do, and I was experimenting that with that years ago, but it went into complexity explosion land, was basically once the writer is stuck, uh, read, do not allow more readers to go in. But that's a slippery slope too, but because I ended up with uh, other priority inversion issues, which I didn't see before. Um, yeah, that's an that's an interesting one. Uh, get rid of read away the locks. Don't use epo. Uh, isn't the main excuse for read away locks the the task list? So once once we kill task list, we can kill read away locks. Oh yes, task that's <laughs> but that, that's nice. another mission impossible. But Linus, the only reason he doesn't tear it out, at least in the past, was like basically the task list. I mean, if I mean, if the, if there are no more users, we can rip it out. Jen, uh, I think there's <laughs> some people working on on replacing task lets because. Uh, at least on, uh, on the usage sides, because many of the task lists are outright stupid. No, no, no. I mean the the task list. At the task list. Yeah, not task list. No, task I'm list. I'm also removing task lists, but yeah. yeah, the task list is the the main no, user. No, task list clock is yeah interesting. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think I think there's a few more reader error locks than just that one. I might be wrong. I'm sure there are. It's just like I the, mean, main, the, the, reader, the main. There's user. the there's the the. Uh, MM semaphore, uh, which is being worked on for other reasons because it doesn't scale. There, there's been a few sessions in this conference about that. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, and and it, uh, there were several attempts already over the past ten years to get rid of it or at least rip it apart. I don't know what the current state of affairs is. We have three different patch series attacking different aspects of the problem. Um, maybe we'll get something that uh, people are willing to accept. We'll see. So, so maybe they throw them all together. Uh, they are uh, not mutually exclusive necessarily. Although I'm sure merging will be fun. One of them is uh, the most recent one is Seren, uh, whose last name I'm not going to try to pronounce. Seren B from Google. And what they did was they take and they focus the locking on the VMA, but they they kind of cheat. They acquire a lock and set a bit saying this thing can't be moved. So it's not really a lock, but it's a thing that protects it. Okay. Protect through VMA. Yes. And they got some pretty impressive speed ups out of that. They don't get as much as you get by using SPF, but they get like 70, I want to say 70%, but I'm probably yeah. wrong. Okay. Yeah. 
Another one is maple tree. Maple tree, even without RFC protection, gets some benefit just because the layout is better. It's a better data structure right. for that sort of thing. Um, it turns out you have to RCUify the VMAs to make uh, Seren stuff work uh, because you have to get a lock on the VMA and it. Right. Yeah. So, so you that, could protect, you could protect protect the, the VMA list with that, that's a potential first step assuming that that's accepted that's a potential first step that would help the maple tree deal with some of that yeah. I think but you know talk to Liam and uh, yeah. Matthew to be sure and the third one is uh, something Peter started as you said in 2010 uh, Laurent Lafour took it over some years after that and now um, uh, Michelle Lippiness, uh yeah. is working on it and that's the speculative page fault path right where you use uh, RCU to uh, protect the page fault stuff and, and retry, kind of like um, kind of like uh, decache entry. Sort yeah. of. So uh, those are not mutually exclusive. Uh, hopefully at least one of them gets in, hopefully they all get in as far as right. I'm concerned. And beyond that point, if we can RCUify the page structures like PowerPC already does, uh, then that gets rid of some weird garbage we've got where monitoring can stall servers. You asked, you won't make that mistake again. Yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> give me time, give me time. Oh. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, so what's the status of uh, using eVPF on 3M30 kernels? Uh, I haven't heard complaints since I fixed the VPF back then. I don't know. I haven't heard anyone complaining that it broke again. Uh, so, uh, Sebastian, do you know anything about EPF? It's awesome. <laughs> of course it's awesome. <laughs> it's the most important invention since life. Uh, 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 I've been using EPF with RT and there's no visible problem. Just, you didn't, it you didn't make it explode? Uh, no, maybe my fault. Yeah, you, did, you didn't try hard enough. <laughs> okay, BPF, we have that one, so. What else is interesting? I guess uh, there's this problem of uh, uh, priority inversion and CFS, and if we can, uh, you know, use some of the same logic uh, that we use for RT mutex, but for CFS to, you know, so it's it's not exactly priority inversion because in CFS everything makes progress, uh, right? But it's more like forward progress. So important things slow down, and not so important things uh, run, like you know. Um, you, you, and they, they block on about lock contention. Yeah, lo a lock, uh, lock based. Uh, yeah, we. So it's a, it's a real problem. It's yeah. come up a number of times. I mean, in the in the runtime inheritance. In the early in the early days of RT, where we actually had the, um, we had to. make sure that most of the, that the, the the pi code is is very much exposed uh we used to do pi on on uh Skedata 2 but i think we dropped that over time because it was just too expensive we could bring that back but yeah. uh <laughs> that brings me to a different question what's the state of, pro of proxy execution I... Oh, yeah, yeah. I you think have. Uh, we have people interested in uh, bringing forward IPERS and didn't have time, but uh, it's uh, probably gonna move forward. Uh, yeah. I spent time on it. We spent time on it, but then, yeah. Yeah, no, a lot of people spend time but, on it. But I think that if you have like a, a CFS, even the prox to the other, you I, I don't see it increasing the amount of runtime that that has to learn. You inherit the, the the scheduling entity i think the, the idea that they would like to have is like summing up the runtime that they could use so they 
the, the task that owns the log, yeah. they have more time to run. Yeah. So it should be summing, not inheriting. That was something I was looking at as well, to, to have a kind of taking the nice priority of the one that is waiting. Right now, if you have priority 19, and you have a log that someone else is waiting for, you will run 1% of the CPU. So for us, you can but, increase but that. What, are you, what is the what is, are you waiting on, on a, on a concurrency control, or are you, you just waiting for something to finish? Something to finish. Something to finish. Yeah. Yes. yes, inheriting yeah. nice would help, but you need an interface mm -hmm. to do so because you have to tell someone that you're waiting on somebody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Maybe I was thinking of, because in RT, <coughs> RT Mutex right now, we are, we are checking if an RT task is waiting, but you can be in a situation, oh, I don't know. If your RT task is waiting on a CFS task that is waiting for another one, the priority is generated on the all the level. Yeah. So if, it, okay. if it's if it's but nice inheritance doesn't really work. Always inheriting to, through okay. the full chain. Okay. Yeah. With a preemptive pool. Uh, that that is uh, when. No, so even uh, even on on uh, use priority uh, inheritance oh, yeah. Sets yeah, yeah, on, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. mutex on uh, on mainline, then you inherit through throughout. Yeah, so so nice inheritance doesn't work, and it's instantly broken by C groups. It was mentioned earlier. What you need is a sum of weights in the whole weight tree, and that's a bit more tricky to do. Could you repeat, please, sir? Nice inheritance doesn't work. Wait. We got that part, and and the next right. one. Um, um, so nice inheritance is also instantly broken by C group hierarchy. And what uh, would be the correct thing to do is to sum the weights in the entire weight tree. Sum of the weights in the in the weights tree. Yeah, so, so it's summing up things, yeah. but not inheriting. No. It, it, it's Correct. summing up time to, to be expensed, right. yeah. No, I just uh, came to my mind because we were talking about it was the state of the, of the, the whole uh, proxy execution thing, because that would really be, be nice to have. You have to have to get out of your hidey hole and do something useful again. Well, you know, everybody hides somewhere and pretends that he's doing important stuff while neglecting the real important things. I I need to talk to your manager. <laughs> Good. We have four more minutes. Can you spend in silence? You can say thank you. You can questions. Oh, we can. Uh, oh, we can thank, uh, our, sponsors. thank our sponsors. <laughs> thank our sponsors. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, if there are no more questions, thank you for attending. Thank you for staying around and have a nice evening.